24 hours a day, 7 days a week, anytime you want it, online and on demand. VerkRadio.com, the power of women. Welcome to Her Business, Her Voice, Her Conversation with Margot Levin. Heard on VerkRadio.com and worldwide on iHeartRadio. Women reinvented to become entrepreneurs, authors, speakers. Their second act is full of courage, full of how to's, and inspiration. Now, let's get into the show. Here's your host, Margot Levin. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to this another episode Her Business, Her Voice, Her Conversation. I always want to bring people to you that can just catapult catapult our reinvention process to a totally different level. And I know that a lot of you all are on LinkedIn, such as I am. I'm checking into LinkedIn each and every day. Uh, Fascinating women and men there. But today's conversation is with Geraldine Thomas. She has taken on the huge, huge task of making sure that one million women link up on LinkedIn. So I'm not going to go ahead and try to give her a introduction. Our conversation is going to peel back the layers of who this dynamic lady is, why she's doing what she's doing. And I want you to pay close attention because What good is it to have 500, uh, to be connected to 500 women on LinkedIn and we're doing nothing with it? So that's the conversation for today. So, Geraldine Thomas, thank you for joining me today. So appreciate you. Well, let's talk about smart women, partner, and grow rich. So, we're not only partnering, but lady, we are growing rich. My first question to you is, who is Geraldine Thomas? Who is this lady to, to take <sighs> on this huge and huge task and create a movement? Okay, well, I'm this LinkedIn fanatic. I've been on LinkedIn since the early days, since I think it was about April 2004, and they were launched in 2003. So one of those early people that was there where, you know, we really didn't do anything, where it was just where you could collect people. That, that was all you could do at first. And then they got bigger and bolder, where they added to where we could start our own groups. It was like, oh, my God, we can finally talk to each other. Oh, my God, the business started flowing like crazy. Then they added on more perks to where you could – email 50 people at a time, which was great, blind carbon copy, which was even more fabulous, and you could pick from different territories, states, countries, whatever. So it was so easy to use LinkedIn back then to really market and to pass on information from your other contacts that that were on LinkedIn that were giving functions. Mm -hmm. We had a ball with this. And they also used to have a um, calendar where if you were given a event, you could send out something to all your connections at once. Wow. But as usual, LinkedIn, but what they give you, according to them, they're like just testing stuff. So they were like testing us. They took away all the good stuff, except for the groups. And then they made those even more complicated. Mm-hmm. Because you're like locked into this group, mm-hmm. and you can only talk about what the um, leader wants you to talk about, and God forbid if you say the wrong thing or whatever. <laughs> like you're trying to share information about your business, and if that list wasn't about you know doing business and sharing information, well, shoot, they would just you know block your message or just kick you off the list. Wow. So you're like at the mercy. So LinkedIn, like I said, it's fabulous. It has over, let me see here, 259 million women on it. Wow. It has about a total of 600 million business and 
professional people. So if you're looking to do business and I have a conversation about what someone wore today or, you know, the best um, recipe or whatever, how to take care of your kids, LinkedIn is the place. Straight business. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've learned how to navigate it, how to make it bend and work my way. And I've noticed along the way that a lot of the people that have started with me, they're quiet. And people who do get on board on LinkedIn, they're like lost. And they're lost mainly because of Facebook. Um, Facebook is great. I'm not going to put it down. But link, I mean, Facebook just allows you to just talk about any and everything. Mm -hmm. And when they came up with that Facebook for business, then people started abandoning LinkedIn for Facebook not realizing your customers are not on Facebook, especially if you're doing a business-to-business sales. Now, if you're selling clothing, well, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Your target audience is over there on Facebook. You're selling perfumes, all that other good stuff that women like. But if you're trying to sell insurance, trying to sell someone on how to start a business, coaching and all that stuff, your target audience is on LinkedIn. Wow. So yeah. you know LinkedIn from way back in the day. You have actually yeah. been there almost from year one. Almost from year one. So now you've seen what it was, and now you see what it can be. Take us into what you are working on now, how you are actually, you see that there, the women who are coming on to LinkedIn, we really are kind of like deers in, deer in the headlights. <laughs> so how, yes. with, with Smart Women Partner and Grow Rich, how are you getting us together? What, tell us about this movement so that we really can benefit from each other. I know I'm one that's on there and I love to collaborate. I'm just waiting for somebody to say, hey, Margo, come over here, do, let's do a webinar. Margo, uh, flying over here to New York because I'm, I'm doing a, I'm, I'm hosting a um, workshop I, I'm down for that type of thing. <laughs> so let's talk about how we get those collaborations together, how we, how we really link together and make LinkedIn work according to the eyes and the visionary, Geraldine Thomas. Okay. Well, a few years ago, I did this survey, and the title of it was What Women Are Missing When It Comes to LinkedIn. I asked several cool questions about, you know, how women were using LinkedIn, how often they were, if anyone reached out to them to partner, what issues they were having with LinkedIn, and mm -hmm. it was eye-opening. Most of the women said that, you know, they were interested in partnering, but they felt like they were too busy to partner. Mm -hmm. They're like, I don't know how to stop doing what I'm doing and have to go out and find someone to partner with. And then others felt that, you know what, they would like to partner, but they felt like, you know, it wasn't worth their time because someone might be trying to take their business from them. Wow. It's an educational process, mm -hmm. especially trying to teach them about LinkedIn's features because they're always changing. Have mm -hmm. you noticed that? It's yes. always an upgrade, huh? They're updating LinkedIn. They're supposed to make it better for us. Mm -hmm. Not. <laughs> Because it's confusing. It really is. Once you get used to it and then they take stuff away, and then you're like, oh, my God, where did that go? What do I do with this? Because they're always giving you features and taking them away. So I decided to start a movement that would help women link up. Just to stop thinking all about me, 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 and let's see how it could be we. Mm -hmm. So I did this thing. In, in the beginning, where I had women to pledge that, that they were going to cross market with at least two women that year. This, this is how it all just slowly built up for me. And then I realized, okay, so they're pledging, but they're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know what? Let me step in and take control. But sometimes we just have to take control of the situation. So I said, you know what? I'm going to start a real link up. I'm going to call it the One Million Woman Link Up. 
I got that from the um, Million Woman March. Mm -hmm. like, man, if they can get one million women to come together to march for something that they believed in, why can't I get one million women together to partner up and to better their bottom lines while they're helping to pull another sister up? Yes. So yes. I figured, you know what? I'll create the projects. Be it a um, networking event where you had to bring two women in order to take part in it. That's partnering. Mm -hmm. um, be that it's an article where um, in order to submit a quote for the article, yeah, I had to bring two women to also do it. Just to get them to start reaching out and reconnecting with their LinkedIn connections. How did that work out? Because I heard you say that so many are busy and that, yeah. you know, really and truly the days just kind of get to be a yeah. blur. Most of us are solopreneurs or if we're working in corporate, God forbid, if you take a moment to try to so do something out of the ordinary. Well, yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> micro to where they have to get used to it. Mm -hmm. It's like exercise, mm -hmm. you know, reps. Each month you're doing it, and by the end of the year, you're really good at it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing with women. Okay. Yeah, well, where do we start? Right, right here, right now. Where do we, once we go on to LinkedIn, is there a, what, how do we be just, we, just we say, start yes, how do we start okay. today? All righty. You go to the homepage, and when you're on the homepage, it asks you, do you want to write a story? Let me, let me get the right verbiage here. And this is your homepage? Anybody's homepage. Anybody's oh. homepage on LinkedIn. Everybody's page is the same. It's the start. Mm -hmm. And it says, start a post. You can attach an um, image, a video, or uh, upload something. And mm -hmm. then right underneath it, it says, write an article on LinkedIn. Now, when it says, write an article on LinkedIn, it means write a post, a blog post. You can blog on LinkedIn. They have their own publishing platform now where you can write your press releases, do tip articles, anything you want to do. It's yours. You control it. Nobody can tell you that, no, you can't market yourself. And that's how you market yourself on LinkedIn, by writing an article. I try to write one at least once a week, mm -hmm. maybe sometimes twice every two weeks, something like that. It, it all depends on how busy I am or how detailed the article is that I'm working on because my articles focus on spotlighting other women on LinkedIn. That's how I get them to stop and stare. Mm -hmm. I write about my LinkedIn connections and I tie them in to PR holidays. Uh, that's another story. So later on in our interview, but yeah, that way women come, they see themselves and they share my articles, mm -hmm. they share it. I get more followers and mm -hmm. that is your goal on LinkedIn is to get followers. Now, like I said, you can start with a post. That means that um, you can share a um, news story that you saw somewhere on, on the internet. You can share your own blog post that you have on your site. You can share a page from your website. Mm -hmm. and put in some text and send it on out. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just click. Send. Yeah. And you get to choose between sharing your article just with your connections. You can share it with your connections plus your connections on Twitter. Or you can share that post to a group that you belong to right there from the front page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my mm -hmm. first thing is to get in there and start a post. And just say hi. Introduce yourself. Tell people who you are, what you do, what your interests are. Mm -hmm. People love to get to know other people who share their interests. Ha share your business story. Share your journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Whatever you do, step one, getting on LinkedIn is to introduce yourself, and then to try and find your connections that you have outside of LinkedIn, to find them on LinkedIn. Your business associates, reach out to them and connect with them on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Because once you do that, once you build up the number of connections you have on LinkedIn, then that's your audience. You get to 
be exposed in front of your connections, connections, mm -hmm. and that's what you want. Mm -hmm. That's how LinkedIn works. What you post is sent to your connections, and it's published on their LinkedIn profile page there. So their connections come and read what's on their page, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so forth and so forth. Yeah. Mm, that's powerful. Yeah, so write that tip article, too. You know, after your introduction, write a tip article. Display your expertise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like seven steps to whatever. Say um, posts uh, and little tip articles that have numbers in them work really well. Okay. Ten steps, five steps, three steps, whatever. Three ways, you know, put a number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that now that's valuable yeah. right there. I'm, wait a minute, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm taking notes on that myself because it is so easy to overlook that because I don't have the time. You say it yeah. is so easy to overlook submitting that article, but uh, I, yeah, that yeah. is the uh, lifeline. Do one a week. I just take something from your blog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take something from a um. If you visit Inc. Or, um, what is it, entrepreneur.com or mm -hmm. these Forbes. other business sites. Yeah, and you see an article, mm -hmm. share it, and then, of course, you get to write some content at sure. the top of that. So share how that relates to your business or how it can help your clients, whatever. Be it that, you know, they can learn from you or saying, hey, clients, your target audience, this will help you. Yes. Oh, and I have to say one more thing, that when you do – um, add yourself to LinkedIn, or uh, even if you're already on there, make sure that you have a tagline mm. so that it tells what, what you do. So every time you post something, people see that. Is that, are you talking about like yeah, a hashtag? Like a title. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. When you um, add yourself to LinkedIn and they um, like actually, you know, um, let me see, what is it called? Let me go to my profile because it is very important because it's a great way to sell yourself on everything that you own without even selling, so to speak. Okay. Because, let me see, I go to view profile, and then you click to edit your profile. So let me see what that line is called. Oh, that very first line. That yeah, you it's like your name, and then yes. you tell you what, what business you work for or, or what you do. Like mine is Smart Women Partner in Rowridge. I help women partner to grow their female client base using LinkedIn. So every article that you post, every little post, anything that you yes. – Admit up there, any groups that you're in, and you respond to answers or whatever, people see that tagline. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's, that's powerful. Well, the headline. It's your headline. Headline. Use your headline mm -hmm. to sell yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. It's yeah. selling you without you just doing anything at all. That's why you can just go be active on a group and not say anything at all about your business, especially those that don't want you to talk about your business, so to speak, mm -hmm. but your headline is doing it for you. So be strategic with that headline because it is going to represent you as you sleep. Don't, don't, don't downplay that. That's what you, pretty much what you're telling us, correct? Yeah, and if you're giving a um, conference or whatever, use that headline. <laughs> say, hey, I'm giving a conference or whatever. You have so many characters to use, use them wisely. Promote your conference. Change your headline up whenever you're doing something special. Yes. Use it to market. Yes. These are brilliant marketing tips that we can use on LinkedIn to maximize our time there. Thank you. This, this is so very good and rich. So now you take, you, we're on LinkedIn. You show, you're sharing this treasure chest of marketing information. Now that we are ready to become a part of the movement, we've oh, pretty yes. much set ourselves up so people kind of, the, the headline already goes before us. They have an idea about what we're all about. Yes. What structure do you have in place for those of us who signed up, said, you know what, I want to be a part of the movement. I am here on LinkedIn 
do we go to Smart Women Partner and Grow Rich? Is there a one particular place in LinkedIn where we go and we okay, follow? Well, How you does go that to work? SmartWomenPartners.com, and the entire website is laid out to explain the entire movement bit by bit. You just go to the front page, and it tells you everything about the – it's like a um, – overview of everything mm -hmm. and then you click on women's business initiative and that explains even more about it and then it asks you to become a founding partner mm -hmm. and when you go to the founding partner page then you decide if you just want to be a part of something you know, people sign up they just want to have their name listed somewhere as a part of something. And then there's those who want to be active mm -hmm. and they want to monetize this movement. Then you can become a premier founding partner and it's structured, but basically if you buy a, a micro spotlight, which is like a minimum of two for $30, mm -hmm. and you can get up to 10 of those, you can decide, you know, if you want, two or 10 or whatever, and the prices, it, it varies based upon that. Um, or if you want to become a um, sponsor of the movement, and that gives you even more perks. Mm -hmm. And that's $199. And is, you is can that in each month? No, that's a year, so it's like 12 months. Mm -hmm. And you can hold on to your spotlight and to your sponsorship package so that when you see that within that um, 12 months that you've been involved or whatever, that you see it's growing and growing and growing and growing, and you say, you know what? I want to use my spotlights or my advertisements now. And what does, that, what does that look like? A person says, okay, I'm a part of the movement. I'm using my spotlight. What does that activate you to do for that person? That activates me. Basically, they go, they fill out a form, and they send me their information. Mm -hmm. And from there, I send the information out to everyone. And I'll publish it on LinkedIn, Facebook, and so forth. But the goal is for them to get their business in front of all the women that are involved in the movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and that's, that's, the, spot, that's the goal of the spotlight. Down. Yeah, mm -hmm. because once they do that, then they're invited to be a part of our millionaire circle. Mm -hmm. And that's for the women who want to piggyback on the movement. Like they're giving a conference, they're writing a book or whatever, they're piggybacking on. And they're getting their message put in front of those women who, when they sign up, said that, hey, they were interested in virtual conferences, offline conferences, um, starting a business, buying a house, getting their business incorporated, finding a financial planner, um, getting a logo done, finding a maid service, whatever. I created like this um, checklist and women just check off what they like to, um, what, what their goals are, what their interests are. They mm -hmm. get their body back in shape or whatever because I know we as women, we have diverse types of businesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to like reach upon those types of things for women to check off that they're interested in. And there's also, of course, the other field. So they can put in other and then write what that is. Okay. So yeah. the main thing is that if you want to be a part of uh, the one woman, one million woman link up, it all begins with becoming a a, a founding partner. Now, be that a partner just on paper or one that is a sponsor or one that is premier, but it all begins with you going over to the uh, one woman, uh, onto the smartwomenpartner.com and make sure that you become a partner. That's where the, yeah. That's where it all begins, and, yeah, and you have free, access to. Just get started with. Just basically, if you like, I said it's free. If you just want to get your business story out there, because with that, when you sign up, then you're um, you're instructed to write your business story. Okay. And you have a template that everyone has to follow. So make sure that you know we cover all the juicy bits mm -hmm. about your business. And then once it's published, and you publish it on LinkedIn. 
so you control it, so you can update it at any time. Okay. And then I share the link with everyone in the group. We all go read your business story. We follow you because you want to get followers. And then, of course, women can see who you want to partner with and what your um, business journey has been like. And, of course, if you have a product or a service that they would like. Okay. Oh, yeah, wow. and uh, I'm also like the um, link will also be spread all across LinkedIn as part of a tour. I'll be doing a tour all year long, basically. I've already started just to get the um, get everyone's appetite wet to see that hey, there are so many women on LinkedIn that we don't even know. So here are some that you should go connect up with, and then I follow that up with women from that state or whatever who are already involved and let people know that, hey, we're looking for more women to get involved in this. And I guess, you know what, we're saying all this, but we haven't really explained what the movement is all about, what the mm -hmm. One Million Women Link Up is really all about. And basically, it was launched to help professional, Main Street, and virtual business women increase their leads, brand awareness and influence using LinkedIn so they can thrive instead of just survive. And they do this by cross-pollinating their marketing skills and female LinkedIn connections. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you're going to cross-market with someone, to partner with someone, you each need to have something that you bring into the table. We all know, know something. So like if you're giving a conference and you want some women to partner with you, then that person will be also helping to market it. And she has different skill sets, so she can help you. And, of course, she has LinkedIn connections, and she's going to send information about that conference to all her connections and ask them to do the same. So, yes. in essence, you're cross-pollinating your marketing skills and your female LinkedIn connections. Wow. All wow. on LinkedIn. Yeah, I mean, it's just really what it is, is it's a high-profile, large-scale, collaborative marketing project mm -hmm. with LinkedIn as a backdrop. And it's for busy business and professional women, and it's for women from a wide range of um, industries, that, and they can plug their businesses into it. Like, if you're in real estate, this link-up works for you. If you... um a plumber, <laughs> this works for you. Whatever it is, if you're a coach, because there's so many different pieces to it, because we're bringing together one million women, mm -hmm. and everybody mm -hmm. does something different. It's not that we're bringing together one million coaches. We're bringing together one million women who have different types of businesses, yes. and they all need different types of people to partner up with. Yes, yes. Wow, this is huge. It, I, I just want people to to understand that this is when you're beginning, when you're forming a movement, it can seem really, really large and almost scary and dominating. But what Gerilyn is trying, what she's working to do is actually bring us all together on LinkedIn so that we can collaborate, so that we are professional women that can sell out events and catapult book sales, fill up coaching hours, uh, events, and, and do, do all forms of business together instead of just existing on, on LinkedIn. Let's get it together, be together, and it all begins with us becoming a partner. We don't become a part of the movement without joining and becoming a partner, one form or another, correct? Correct. Okay, yes, and from that point, from that point, we, are at, we have given ourselves access to this huge movement of women who are linked together on purpose, like-minded, and it's all about marketing from that point on. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And yeah, we're, we're um, marketing together on various projects that are like, that are like spin off of mm -hmm. the major Thing, which is the link up and we're doing um like i said we're starting off with the virtual tour we're doing the business stories we're um creating platforms on instagram youtube whatever 
for women's stories to be placed. Okay. And we're getting women to work together on their own solo projects. Like I said, if someone's giving a conference, yeah, she can link that in with the link up, but she can also grab some women mm -hmm. from the movement and go on with them and do stuff because you're looking for people to be sponsors. You can have women in the movement to partner up together to share the cost because mm -hmm. hey, it might be expensive and you might not be able to find who you're looking for to buy straight out, but you can get three or four women together from the movement to split the cost of the sponsorship package. Gotcha. So you're still doing good. Yes. All that matters is that you get the money. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter how. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we do all that stuff. Because you know the women that are getting involved, they want people that can walk them through the doors when they go to their local novel meeting or whatever. Yes. That's yes. local. You you could be just basically printing off stuff from the internet that someone gave you and walk them through the doors of your meeting and pass stuff out and they mm -hmm. can do the same for you. Mm -hmm. And I don't mm -hmm. see that really happening on a large scale, maybe on a micro scale, but we're going to do this on a large scale where we're going to find out where women are networking at. That's our next component. Mm -hmm. It's what you share during a meeting that, that we have this, this realm I'm networking at this this week or whatever, this is the uh, name of the group, how many members or whatever. If you want to send me something that I can pass out, send it to me. And in exchange, please do the same for me. Wow. That's powerful. That is powerful. And that makes it possible. You yes. Can have someone in well, heck, China, Japan, Australia, whatever, doing this for you because of the internet. You can be marketed anywhere. Mm -hmm. As long mm -hmm. as you're accepting those types of clients, that mm -hmm. shows target audience. Yeah. And as long as you are a part of Smart Women Partner and Grow Rich, mm -hmm. as long as you're a part, the sky's the limit on what can happen, who you can meet, who you can partner with. Wow. And you can share ideas. You know, I want women that come in and give me ideas on how we can make this grow. And we're going to do stuff on special holidays. Right now, the big holiday that we're prepping for, I know everyone preps for the holiday season, but we're going to prep, well, we're going to do prepping for two because we're going to create our own holidays during the um, Christmas holiday. But first thing, first is Small Business Saturday. Mm -hmm. I want to see main street business women who have brick and mortar businesses to have virtual women pushing their sales mm -hmm. women from their area pushing their stuff on twitter facebook and so forth and mm -hmm. in exchange i want them to allow the virtual business women to have access to their foot traffic being that they put their stuff in the customer's bags mm -hmm. let them um, come in and be a greeter or something whatever it is give a special networking event just for business women in that area on Small Business Saturday, where, you know, for one hour, you like doing something exclusively for business women. They're going to come in, they have to commit to spending, say, $50 or whatever. They can have a little drinky poo, some little mm -hmm. sandwiches or whatever, and shop mm -hmm. for an hour. Like the specials just for them. Oh, wow. And that, that virtual business woman, that, you know, she gets to come in there and be your hostess for that. Yes, yes. That's yes. exciting. <laughs> I know. I was cool. like, oh my God, I was like, that would just be so phenomenal to have women doing that. So yes. I'm working on that now. Okay. And just, yeah. And, you know, we'll be needing stories. So mm -hmm. we could have women that are virtual go in and interview um, brick and mortar business women and bring those stories back and put them on the website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And get the women to share information about who they're interested in partnering with. Because that's all we want to know. So we now... You're getting ready to, you're, get, you're getting that part, part of the movement together now. Yes. So yes, would you uh, advocate that we really become founding partners and take that step that you mentioned. Be sure to uh, write the article so that people know who we are, what yes. we're looking for. That is the first thing you need to do. Okay. Introduce yourself. Okay. Share it with me so then I can share it with everyone else. Right. Don't just sign up and get lost. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. go ghost. 
And if we've already done an article, uh, we need to make sure that it's updated. Yes, and it's current. updated because I will be sharing it. Like I said, I'm doing a state-by-state, state, province by province of women all around the globe here. Wow. I started last week. You know, I, I figure it'll take me until the end of June for the initial part of this, where I'm just going in and highlighting women from each state, each Canadian province, at least the top ones, from the um, UK and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then once I finish my initial tour of that, then I'm going to go in and start breaking it down into metropolitan areas. Mm -hmm. I'm highlighting women from there, and we give mixers. We're going to do wow. virtual mixers on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. You will be able to come and network right there on LinkedIn with us to share your news and all that stuff. And, of course, the women who come in and they become a um, premier founding partner and are a part of the millionaire circle, well, then they get to really push their news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will become sponsors of this virtual tour. Yep. And they will even be able to um, – work on some of those events, like I mentioned for um, Small Business Saturday, to partner with these local um, business women to give that one-hour networking event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to come in and be an active part of, of um, Smart Women Partner, that's the best way to go about it. That's, yeah, that's the only way to make this affordably. Like I said, it's just starting out at $30. And like, if you want even more exposure, then you buy more spotlights. Mm -hmm. You definitely want the spotlights because that's going to be that message that goes out to everyone. Okay. As Children, well as piggyback. Yes, I just have a quick question. As far as here we are in the very beginning stages, but very exciting stages, you've already attracted, what, 10,000 followers or something like that. So yes. you're gaining some traction. Give us those numbers so that people know we're not just talking about 500 people or that type of thing. Oh, no, 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 no. I have um, over 11,000 people that are following this right now. Mm -hmm. And each day it's growing. The more that I'm putting it out there, I gain about 100 people a day. So it's kind of fun. It really is fun watching this thing grow. Mm hmm yeah, followers are great. So now I'm ready to bring in the bodies. Okay. So what I'm working on is our first event, our first virtual event that's kind of big, but yet small. And it's going to combine using um, Slack so that women can network in a manner where they actually get to talk about their business because that's what we want, right? We mm -hmm. want to talk about our business, but you want to talk about it in a smart manner, like, you know, who your ideal client is, um, but of course, you know, who you're looking to partner with and what types of projects that you're looking to partner on and what you're interested in sharing the cost on, the types of advertising, mm -hmm. things like that. And then we're going to move on to another platform, which is called Hey Summit, where we are going to have women send in um, tip videos. They get to educate the women wow. on um, um, how to sell to women like you want to market to um real estate agents but we're going to have someone that tells you this is how you market to real estate agents what are real estate agents looking for in products and services that can help them grow wow and so forth different industries versus you know just how to sell to women well heck i mean that's so generic but how do you reach your actual target audience on mm -hmm. linkedin mm -hmm. And, of course, we're going to let women put up their profiles, their partnering profiles, so they get mm -hmm. to see the women, hear their voices and everything. And then we're going to wrap that thing up with Maestro Conference. Have you used that yet? Never have. Never have. Oh, my God. It's like going to an actual event, but uh -huh. it's totally virtual, where, you know, when the um, event starts, starts off, there's a um, – you have like everyone in the room and you're talking to them. You're doing the introductions and all that stuff. Uh -huh. And then it also has breakout rooms. Wow. So you can go in and be with different speakers mm -hmm. in a breakout room. And mm -hmm. then you can group together small groups of women and let them talk to each other just to network. Wow. So that's what we're going to do. You'll be able to talk to mm -hmm. each other. And we're going to give you like a mock cross-marketing project. And afterwards, you get to come back and 
share with us what you came up with, like an idea for an um, online magazine, a blog, a physical business, whatever. It's, just, it's mock, but it's fun, and it gives you a chance to, to just get to know each other. Yes. And if they want to, they can bring that idea to life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's just to get women talking and doing stuff together. Because I know when I was in school, I loved it when they put us in small groups and had us to work on a project together. Yes. yes. So that's what we're going to do. Wow. Yeah. I hear the passion. I see the vision. And uh, gosh, I don't want to fire hose <laughs> women because this thing is, this movement has opportunity for much exposure, global exposure, and partnering, and making some big changes in the world of business in different industries. And it all begins with going over to smartwomenpartner.com and deciding that, yes, I am going to become a founding partner and take it from there. Now, whether you want to just stay there, I know that Geraldine is hoping that she's insisting that you move on so that you are an active part of this of this movement. And when you are, the exposure is limitless. You already hear her speaking about events that are coming up. You know, so many times we join the, the groups and, and this and that, and we just kind of sit dormant. The, the hoopla and the uh, excitement goes high for a minute, and then everything dies down. But uh, Geraldine Thomas is, is not one that is going to let this die down and just by Christmas, we won't hear another word about it. Uh, it's not going to happen. So, Geraldine, tell, once again, tell us how to get in contact with you, and uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just begin to wrap it up. Because, like I say, okay. I don't I want people to become active. I don't want them bogged down with a lot of information. That I, I want them to move and let's let's do this thing. Okay. Well, you can go to smartwomenpartner.com to become a founding partner. And if you're on LinkedIn already, which I hope you are, you can reach out to me there as well. And my um, little tag, I guess you want to call it whatever, is Smart Women Partner, so you can find me there as well as, I guess you can put my name in there too, and it should pull up. That's another beautiful thing about LinkedIn is that you get to name your profile, so you can use your business name if you want to, besides just using your name. That's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you can also email me at J-E-R-R-I-L-Y-N-N-B as in baby, Thomas at gmail.com. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. The call to action on all of this is to do it today. Sign up today because you already have access to over 10,000 uh, followers and Geraldine is turning, converting these followers into working components of this movement. So get, it's always better to get in on the ground floor, don't, wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't you say? Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Because you get to write the content. Like, mm -hmm. Whatever your target audience is, you get to write the content and we will publish it because wow. we want to bring those people into the movement and we want you to have a wide target audience that's within the movement that you can market to. Well, I tell you what, I'm already a part and I, but I must say I have to update my uh, article and I will do that today. Um, hey, practice what you preach, Marco, you know, yeah. but I'm definitely going to do that today. Thank you, Geraldine Thomas. I have to thank you so much for uh, linking 1 million women together. You're going to do this. This is going to be um, a long tail type of a, a, of a venture, and, but you're in for it and for the long haul and much success to you, much Thank success. You. You're going to have to come back in the summer. Let us know what's going on. How is everything shaping up and what does a, the end of the year look like? So we'll, I'll have you back and you just keep us informed. Okay. Oh, I will. Yes, okay. ma'am. Well, I'm looking, we all, man, we are almost at an hour with this conversation, but I oh. let it go. Yeah, we had to go ahead and make sure that the questions that a person would have are answered. I, it's fascinating that you go 
all the way back to uh, the almost the genesis of LinkedIn. So when we hear Geraldine Thomas talking about LinkedIn, we're not talking about a novice. She's somebody who's been there, done that, and is creating a movement. So I want to thank everybody for listening today. Once again, Geraldine Thomas, thank you for being my guest. Make your move today, everybody, and become a part of this movement. I'm Margo Levette. Go over to my website, herbusinessherbvoice.com. Copy of my book is there, How I Reinvented Myself. And be on the lookout because I am building, in the process of building a brand new website. And it's going to be very wonderful, a comfortable place for you to be, but a place where you can reinvent yourself and be empowered. So until next week, a brand new episode, I have to say goodbye. And once again, thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Her Business, Her Voice, Her Conversation with Margot Levette. Since you like what you heard, go over to HerBusinessHerVoice.com to get a copy of her book. Subscribe to the show and receive updates, free products, and offers. Be sure to let family, friends, and colleagues know about the show. Margot returns next week with a brand new dialogue on Her Business, Her Voice, Her Conversation. HurricaneRadio.com, certified number one. Digital talk radio station in the world. The power of women.